Okay, so when choosing a dining table, try and follow the golden rule, which is to allow 60 centimetres per guest. So if you want uh, three people sitting down one side, you're gonna need a 1.8 metre dining table. In this case, we've got a two metre dining table, which allows just that little bit more space between the legs. For example, this table is actually on the high side at 80 centimetres, but that's okay because these seats are also high at 50 centimetres. Another thing to think about when buying a dining table is not just the overall dining table height, but the relationship of the table height to the seat height. 30 centimetres is a good height, can be a little bit more, can be a little bit less, depending on what you're comfortable with. Also, be aware of the space between the seat and the table rail. A lot of people often forget about that. 10 centimeter space is tight, 12 centimeters is okay, 15 centimeters is nice and comfortable. In this case, we've actually got 20 centimeters, so that's great. Another thing to remember, if you've got dining chairs with arms or you're planning on buying dining chairs with arms, make sure, of course, the arms are going to fit not only under the dining table top, but under the rail as well. And a little design tip, when you're not using the dining table, don't push the chairs all the way in. If you've got beautiful chairs, show them off and just set them about there. Sometimes if you've got a tricky dining space, a round table is the solution. A lot of apartments these days will have connections to living rooms, outdoor spaces, kitchens. So a round dining table will help with flow through the We've got it set up for six. If it's friends and family, you could even squeeze eight around it. Dining space and a round dining table. The other big advantage of a round dining table, it's flexible with the number of people you can put around it. For example, this is a 1.2 metre diameter dining table. It really comfortably will take four. When you're looking for outdoor tables, make sure you're clear about whether you're looking for outdoor in terms of full sun and full weather exposure, or are you looking for an alfresco table? Now that's where these guys come into their own. This is a poly cement finish and it's got a great UV coating which gives it excellent durability uh, and with a solid eucalypt basis. This is fantastic for alfresco spaces. Or you could even look at something like this, which is actually a river stone and resin finish. So it's uh, mimicking cement, but it doesn't have the weight and the problems with cement. Extremely durable, once again, fantastic for alfresco areas. I want to show you this table just because it's my dream table. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I found a manufacturer up in Bali who produces pieces for the large four and five star resorts. And he had this table in here and I just had to buy it. It is solid, solid timber, but it has a special treatment. Basically, they burn the entire table, then they polish it back, and then they burn it again, and they polish it back, and they burn it again and polish it back so it just ends up with this absolutely beautiful beautiful finish really exciting it's 3.6 meters long that's my hero